Scott doing here? Is he a shark now? Cuban, what, what is going on? Cuban, why are you sitting all the way on the right hand side? <laughs> Lori, why are you dressed like Sergeant Pepper? What is going on right now? Okay, all right, get it together, Mom. It's for a lot of money. All right. Hi, I'm Mark. And my company is Mark Merica. I'm here today seeking an $8 million investment for a 3% stake of my company, Mark Merica. Rich douchebags. Are you tired of coming home after a long day of stepping over poor people? Sitting down to watch the game only to see one of those soul-crushing Chevy commercials come on the TV screen? As a man who hates bad advertising, it made me want to pick up my TV and smash a goddamn thing on the floor. But I thought to myself, there must be a better way. That's why I came up with the mock box. Now you can say goodbye to those terrible commercials for good. So what the mock box does is every time one of those terrible ads comes on, it replaces it with either Tom Brady highlights, Tom Brady fun facts, or sometimes just Tom Brady running down the beach in slow motion. My favorite. My God. Look at him glisten. Allow me to demonstrate. Hi guys. So this is the all new Chevy Equinox. It's gorgeous. It oh look, my TV's taking a Chevy seats, shit. A my night's summer. ruined. You know what? I'm just gonna walk over there and pick it up and smash the goddamn thing on the ground until I feel satisfied. All of that is in this one car. Yeah. Wait a minute. What's this? Who's this magical handsome man chisel from stone on my TV screen? Who is this little piece of perfection poured into flesh? Who is this God-given piece of NFL greatness? Why was I so upset earlier? And tragedy averted. Statistics show that more people smash their TVs during Chevy commercials than any other type of car commercial. Well, really, you know, one person did that. Uh, oh, I did it. I, I broke my TV over a Chevy commercial. Not my greatest moment, but uh, it worked. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, you know what? I'm out too. That wasn't even a real thing I was pitching, so whatever. The real thing I wanted to pitch to you guys today was the Mock App. The Mock App is a multifunction app that should be downloaded by every human being except Chevy owners and Giants fans. Cause fuck Giants fans. The app features a fully functional GPS and a Chevy detector. Observe. Bang you had to pack in when you pass Winnie Penny Park into the car park and park your car. What? Warning, warning, shitty Chevrolet detected. Steer clear. Warning, you're too close to that Chevy. Flick that guy off. Good job. The app also translates wicked hard Boston accents for your weird southern friends. Great, you miss your turn, you jackass. Not bad you at Park Street when you pass Winnie Penny Park into the car park and park your car. Try not to fuck it up this time, huh? Damn it, app, speak like a normal person. Make a U-turn and take a left at the park. Thanks, Mock App. Oh, okay, just forget about that last part there. You know what, the best part about the app is you can take a picture of any of your shithead friends and it automatically insults them. Let's do you, A-Rod. I've been waiting for this moment a long time. Oh look, it's the first pharmaceutically enhanced shark tank judge. I loved your book, by the way. How to ruin America's favorite pastime. Also, you can't hit a curveball. You bald, dick nose ass canoe. You human oxygen tank. You look like a hobo clown without the makeup. You fat Mr. Burns. That was a good one. You. Wow. That's a handsome dude. This guy knows what he's talking about. You're a Get the out of here. No, f you. No, f you. <laughs> Just kidding. That wasn't even the real thing I wanted to show you. Hold on. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care if there's anybody waiting over there. Let me show you my piece de resistance. Has your love life been deflated? Are you tired of your wife cheating on you? I present to you the Tom Brady baloney pony. Is Russell the love muscle? You know, his yogurt slinger, his purple-headed warrior, his tube steak, his Giselle crusher, you know, his you, you struck every chord in my body. That's a big, big I think you have something very impressive here. Can we feel it? What do you have in sales this year? 
We haven't sold any yet, but uh, pretty sure I just sold one to her. But what is your competitive advantage? Why do I want to invest in your business? The seven million women in the greater New England area. You're looking at eight million units move when we launch this car rocket. We won't be able to keep them on the shelves, but you will be able to keep your wife satisfied. I'm looking at you, A-Rod. Let me ask you a question. If I offered you $30 million for the company, would you take it? No. Alex, I'd like to partner with you if you're interested in going in with me. We would like to invest in it together. I'm in. Yeah, I'd like, I want a piece of that. No. I know exactly how to help you. We have four offers, an extraordinary outcome in Shark Tank, very rare. What are you going to do? Uh, eh. I'll pick you, fat Mr. Burns. I can't do it. And not only because I don't shake hands, but if I take this deal, it makes me become what I hate the most. Another greedy corporate douchebag. I mean, look at this thing. It's not even a real replica. It's just a pool noodle that I cut and I taped together. You guys are ready to pounce on it like Kevin Spacey at a popcorn sale. I can't sleep at night if I'm taking advantage of the common working man or woman. I'm trying to get them to sign up for some service they'll probably forget to cancel. Shoving some need this product down the throat. It's just not who I am. They depend on me too much. I have too much integrity for that. And for that reason, I'm out. It's moving, I gotta tell you. You are one of the most impressive people I've ever seen on the carpet here. That is awesome. Man. This video is brought to you by Zamplebox, a fantastic e-liquid subscription service. JD Power. Don't talk quality. Quality. Hey, take five, everybody. It's just us here. Yeah, I know. It just makes me feel better. What are you doing? Are you smoking e-cigarettes now? My God, you are like the human equivalent of skinny jeans. You might as well be wearing a mouth fedora. Yeah, well, Zamplebox wants us to do a promo, so they sent us a bunch of their products. Help me quit smoking, you should try it. Yeah, no thanks. I'll die like a real man. You know, plus I went into one of those stores one time and it was a friggin' nightmare. What, what are you staring at? What are, you, what are you doing? Hey, I wanna buy one of these vape things so I can quit smoking. Okay, yeah, sure, I totally help you out with that, man. Are you looking for like PGs, VGs, uh, CGs, EGs? Deal double G's, we got BG's, squeegees. I can say you have a, like a modded tumbler, some organic Japanese cotton. Do you have like a lime flavor? Oh, lime, yeah, oh yeah, we got tons of lime. We got like key lime, uh, we got lime wire, we got lime cop, lime traveler, uh, some lime and Garfunkel. That's super good, dude, that's wicked good. It tastes like lime and like a shoe. It, I'll, I'll take the lime cop. That was a good movie. All right, one thirty milliliter bottle of lime cop. That'll be uh, one hundred and fourteen bucks for one bottle. Why was it autographed by Jean Claude Van Damme himself? You know what? I'm just gonna go get a pack of smokes. Exactly why I use Zample Box. Zample Box? Yeah, they got a huge selection. A huge selection? Wholesale prices. Wholesale prices. And they also have a Taylor flavor profile. A Taylor flavor profile? I love it because they deliver right to my door. Because I don't have to, uh, you know, adult and get up and do stuff. Because I'm a super busy guy editing all these videos. You're super busy? Yeah, I'm super busy. What are you, what are you doing? No. Could you not? Oh, fuck. Ah! Nice to meet you too, Sandra Bullock. Wait, did you just do an embarrassing cutscene to prove I wasn't busy? Don't worry about it. Hey, uh, where do I sign up at? The link on the bottom of the screen. That's just a piece of paper with your lines on it down there. No, no, don't point that out. Well, you can't remember shit, but your point, that's what you pointed at. That's why I have it there to help me. I don't have yeah, a good I memory. Yeah, I know. You know I that. Know that's why you have you it. You know there. I don't have a good memory.